Looney Tunes, Monsters at Work, Woody Woodpecker, Bluey, all this and plenty more in the April 2024 Cartoon Preview. We'll start this video by taking a look at something that dropped in late March, but was announced after I put the March video up. Available now on Max is the second season of preschool Looney Tunes series Bugs Bunny Builders. In the series, Bugs and Lola Bunny are managers of the Looney Builders construction crew, comprising Daffy, Porky, Tweety and more familiar faces. Together the team helps their fellow citizens of Looneyburg with zany building projects. No job is too big or wild when they work as a team and utilize their super loony tools and souped up vehicles. Five new episodes are now available with more set for later in the year. Kicking off April 4th, Max will debut Hop, a brand new series from Arthur creator Mark Brown. The series follows an eclectic group of besties whose comedic adventures teach preschoolers to embrace their own and others uniqueness. Led by Hop, an enthusiastic empathetic frog with one leg shorter than the other, he and his quirky friends address kid relatable challenges with with a healthy dose of laughter, silliness and adventure. Notably, the series is said to mark a significant milestone in inclusive children's entertainment, with the entire ensemble cast coping with some type of disability, helping kids relate to and better understand others. The first season will be comprised of 26 episodes total, with 6 available at launch and the rest rolling out across the year. Also on the 4th, Netflix will drop the second season of Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising in select regions. In the series, a spinjitsu ninja master must train a new generation of heroes to help find elemental dragons who can save the planet before the forces of evil use the same dragon energy to destroy the new world. Season 2 promises an epic new quest as the ninja face a threat like never before. An arcane ritual threatens to resurrect the Forbidden Five and a forgotten, corrupted fighting technique has emerged. Do the ninja have the power to defeat this ancient darkness? The clock is ticking. The Blood Moon is coming. On the 5th, Monsters Inc. sequel series Monsters at Work is back for a second season. However, the series, which originally debuted on Disney Plus, will see new episodes release on Disney Channel before hitting Disney Plus on May 5th. In season 2, Tyler Tuskman's journey as a jokester and his friendship with Val face the ultimate test, when new doors of opportunity unexpectedly open at rival energy company Fearco, Tyler's co-workers at Monsters Inc. begin to question where his loyalty Loyalties truly lie. As his laugh floor partnership with Val is pushed to the brink, Taylor must discover where he really belongs. The new episodes again return Billy Crystal and John Goodman to the roles of Mike and Sally, while Ben Feldman, Mindy Kaling, Henry Winkler, Lucas Neff, and Alana Ubach round out the voice cast. Also on the 5th, Disney Junior will premiere the second season of Super Kitties Supercharged. Geared towards a preschool audience, Super Kitties is an adorable and action packed series about four fierce and furry superhero kittens, who are on a mission to make their town of Kittydale a more caring and pawsome place. In Season 2's Supercharged storyline, the team receive brand new superpowers and gadgets to aid in their mission of thwarting the villain's plans, and imparting important messages of kindness, empathy, friendship, resilience and problem solving along the way. The series stars the voice talents of Annika Noni Rose, Pamela Adlon and Eric Bowser. On the 6th, Cartoon Network will premiere the second season of Tiny Toons Luniversity. The season dropped on Max in late March, though again was announced after I released the March video. Season 2 continues the adventures of Babs and Buster Bunny and the rest of the gang as they follow their comedic ambitions all the way to Acme Luniversity, the esteemed institution of higher hijinks learning, where young dreamers become professional toons. Here they form long-lasting friendships with one another and perfect their cartoony craft while studying under the greatest cartoon characters in history, the Looney Tunes. On the 8th, Netflix will release the third season of Spirit Rangers. The show follows Cody, Summer and Eddie Skyseeder, three Chumash and Cowlit siblings who, after activating beaded necklaces, can portal and transform to a magical dimension. Once there, their Spirit Ranger forms use elemental powers to protect their California National Park. Season 3 is set to expand on the Season 2 finale's Water Protectors storyline. Spirit Rangers includes a native-led cast on and off screen as well as TV's first all-Indigenous writers' room, along with more than 100 native or Indigenous crew members. 
On the 12th, Netflix will release Woody Woodpecker Goes to Camp, the long-awaited sequel to the 2017 hybrid Woody Woodpecker film. After getting kicked out of the forest, Woody thinks he's found a forever home at Camp Woohoo, until an inspector threatens to shut down the camp. This one will be particularly interesting as it was filmed in my home state of Victoria, Australia. It returns Eric Bowser to the legendary role of Walter Lance's iconic character, Woody Woodpecker. Also on the 12th, Paramount Plus will launch the first season of Dora, Nickelodeon's CG animated Dora the Explorer reboot. The series follows everyone's favourite bilingual explorer, Dora, and her best monkey friend, Boots, as they embark on epic adventures in a fantastical rainforest. Guided by trustworthy Map, Dora and her friends must work together to overcome many obstacles, while being challenged by the sneakiest fox, Swiper. Kathleen Hurls, the original voice of Dora the Explorer, returns as Mammy, Dora's mother. The series is set for 26 11 minute episodes and will also air on Nick Jr. Also on the 12th, Netflix will launch the first season of Good Times, the irreverent animated reimagining of Norman Lear's classic 1970s sitcom. In the series, a new generation of the Evans family keeps their heads above water in a Chicago housing project. The series is described as a spiritual sequel of sorts to the live action original centering on the fourth generation of the Evans family. Norman Lear served as executive producer on the series alongside Seth MacFarlane and Stephen Curry and reportedly made pivotal contributions behind the scenes prior to his death at age 101 last year. On the 14th, Aussie legend Bluey will star in his very first special extended episode, Bluey the Sign. In his homeland of Australia, The Sign will air on ABC Kids before airing on Disney Channel and Disney Junior in the US and Disney Plus globally. Bluey, Bingo, Mum, Dad and all their family friends are getting ready for the wedding event of the year in an exciting special burst with adventure, romance and emergency toilet stops. It's described as Bluey's longest episode ever, running at 28 minutes. That's four times the length of a normal episode. The episode will be preceded by a brand new regular length episode, Ghost Basket, on March 7th. On the 17th, Netflix will drop the first season of The Grim Variations. From Clamp and Wit Studio, this anime series gives the Grimm's fairy tales a bold reboot. Once upon a time, brothers Jacob and Wilhelm collected fairy tales from across the land and made them into a book. But there's more to the story. They also had a much younger sister, the innocent and curious Charlotte. One day, while the brothers were telling Charlotte a fairy tale as usual, they saw that she had a somewhat melancholic expression on her face. The pages of Grimm's fairy tales are now presented from the unique perspective of Charlotte, who sees the stories quite differently from her brothers. All six episodes are available at once. On the 23rd, Warner Animation's Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 2 will hit home media on both physical and digital platforms. An endless army of shadow demons bent on the destruction of all reality swarms over our world and all parallel Earths. The only thing opposing them is the mightiest team of metahumans ever assembled. But not even the combined power of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern and all their fellow superheroes can slow down the onslaught of this invincible horde. What mysterious force is driving them and how do the long buried secrets of the Monitor and Supergirl threaten to crush our last defence? And closing out the month on the 26th, it's the Knuckles Limited series, a spin-off of the highly successful Sonic the Hedgehog film series, taking place between the second and third films. This hybrid series will follow Knuckles on a hilarious and action-packed journey of self-discovery as he agrees to train Wade as his protege and teach him the ways of the Echidna Warrior. The series returns Idris Elba to the role of Knuckles and is set to see guest appearances from Ben Schwartz and Colleen O'Shaughnessy as Sonic and Tails. All six episodes are available at once. And finally, Max will also release the second season of controversial adult Scooby-Doo spin-off series Velma. We don't have any solid information on this one just yet, not even an exact release date, but Warners have promised it'll be with us this month. The series will continue the origin story adventures of Velma Dinkley, the unsung and underappreciated brains of the Mystery Inc. gang. Mindy Kaling returns to the role of Velma, while Constance Wu, Glenn Howerton and Sam Richardson return as Daphne, Fred and Shaggy respectively. And that is all the major animated releases for April 2024. As always, join the conversation down below and let me know what you're most and least excited to check out this month.